like this, talk like this, look like this, you could never Switching my flow, I'm getting money, but I want more. Yeah, yeah. Drip too hard when I come through. Black beans cool when I. Every hot girl needs to eat her wings, okay? All right, guys. So we're gonna be starting off with the hair because we always start with the hair, and I always plug y'all in. So today I'm gonna be wearing my chambray hair, and I'm really excited because it's a closure, guys. It's a 5x5 five five closure and and I think a wig like this is perfect for beginners, perfect for the summer because let's be real, wearing frontals in the summer is not really ideal because typically it starts lifting if, you're, if you are a heavy sweater. Um, it's just not the most comfortable, it gets really hot. So something like this you could just take on and off and yes so this is a closure wig again five by five closure so it will give you the appearance of a closure i mean it will give you the appearance of a frontal but less work you know and this is natural curly and it is um 20 inches all right yes honey and i haven't added any product to it it's kind of just been air dried so i'm gonna put this on and yeah so my hair is freshly washed underneath here and just slicked, honey, slicked, okay? Still no edges, but we're here. <laughs> but um, whenever I do my closures, honestly, I've realized that I don't really like using like a black cap because then you can't see the part. And then I don't like using a nude cap because it starts to peek through. So today what I'm gonna be using is a mesh, is like a mesh cap, all right? And it has a little hole in it at the top for some reason, but that's fine. I just need it to, um, for my wig to have something for the combs to go through because you guys know I don't wear, um, what's the thing called? I don't wear braids, so this is going to be the best thing for me. And where's my mirror? So, as usual, I always adjust the wig to the tightest thing. Um... All my wigs that I get sent to me or ever get made are medium size and I put it to the tightest because whenever I do small it's just too small and I don't have that like breathability and then medium I can adjust large is clearly too big so this is the inside of the wig it is constructed very nicely and the cap is like very breathable it's kind of like mesh but it's breathable and it's um sturdy at the same time so it's a win-win so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on you guys all I did was bleach the knots I haven't plucked anything I don't plan on plucking anything because I feel like whenever I pluck a frontal I just I mean a closure I just overdo it so I'm gonna put these combs through cut this lace off And I'm going to try not to glue this down because we want this to be as easy as possible. We don't want any glue on our hair. Like, that's just no fun in this heat because this, this heat is no joke, I tell y'all. So yeah, already that's looking very good. So this is about how how far it stops on me. It's a very natural length, something very manageable, something very easy for the summer. It's not too long. It's not gonna get tangled. And the curl is like a natural curl, so it's not super coiled and it's not like a, a pattern where you have to like maintain, maintain too much. And let me tell you guys, when I got this hair, it smelled so good. Like it smelled like a Granny Smith apple. And Okay, so this is starting to throw me off because I keep looking at it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add powder to my part. Um, and I talk to you guys some more about this hair. But this hair is not, you guys. You guys might be happy about this. This is not hair from an AliExpress vendor. This is a legit company. Not saying that AliExpress is not legit, but I know a lot of people are skeptical about buying from AliExpress. So they're always like 
DMing me and asking me like, do you really trust them or is the quality good? And like, I wouldn't lie to you guys, I have no reason to lie, but I can't control, and that's what any company, not even AliExpress, but AliExpress is really known for this. I can't control how they run their business. So like, they may send me the best quality of hair and send you guys trash, you know, which is really effed up. But with that being said, this hair is of higher quality and you're gonna be paying more for your um, for your hair, which isn't a bad thing because if you're somebody who, like I know a lot of people who never change their hair, stick to what they know. I'm not gonna add any baby hairs, I don't think, because I'm feeling this. But um, I know a lot of people who stick to what they know, they don't try to like switch it up. So I think if that be the case, then invest into good quality hair because if you know you're not going to switch your hair often, why would you keep buying cheap hair? Just invest one good time, call it a day, and you'll be happy, you know? So I'm just letting you guys know. This hair is a little pricier than other hair that I've reviewed on my channel, but I'll also tell you this, I can definitely see a difference. Like this, it's air dried with no product, but it just has a way more natural feel it just looks better like make sure you guys check the description box new customers do get 30% off so it might be worth your while no not might be it will be worth your while and real hot girls make their hot boys pay for their hair so make sure you send bae the link and get you some hair okay okay so first things first, we're going to want to moisturize as, you, as usual and I'm going to be using my Vitamin C Glow Protection Lotion and this has SPF 30, okay? So you need to protect your skin. A lot of people in my last video, well, not my last video, but in a previous video were telling me that moisturizers with SPF have chemicals in it and at this point I just feel like everything has chemicals so I mean... You can either let your skin fry or you can let the chemicals eat at your skin. <laughs> the choice is yours at this point, but I'm going to protect my skin with some SPF. Um, next, I'm going in with my Derma Blend Primer. It's the Insta Jelly Grip Primer. I told you guys it's very comparable to my um, Milk Hydro Grip, but it's a little bit tackier, so it has a lot more of a grip <laughs> so what's gonna happen is your makeup's gonna pretty much stay in place all day so today I think I'm gonna go in with my Fenty foundation I don't really use this as much as I used to but I think this is actually a perfect summer foundation because it is mattifying meaning that it will last longer throughout the day but it's very thin so it kind of blends into your skin or like melts into the skin oh, that's what I'm gonna use today and hopefully I'm feeling it Once you've blended out that foundation with a brush, I've noticed that going over it with the sponge just makes it look a lot smoother and helps it blend into the skin a little bit more. And please excuse this disrespectful pimple. I don't know what's going on, but it hurts really bad. And this foundation does dry down pretty quick, so if you noticed, I was working in sections. I did like one side of my face at a time. And I think this foundation is the reason why I work in sections of my face because I was I was literally only using this for a year and a half straight. Like I didn't use any found other foundation. So with that being said, I typically just do like this side, then this side, work in the middle, and then work up. And it gives you more control over your product as well. So now we're done with our foundation. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna be using my Milani today. I'm gonna be using two 
shades i'm gonna go on with deep tan first you guys know this is like the shade i normally use Now I'm going to go in with warm tan and just kind of brighten up that under eye area. And my nose. I'm going in with my Kunafa powder by Huda Beauty and I'm just gonna press that under my, well, in my highlighted areas. I always say under my eyes and then I end up setting everywhere. And when I do simple looks like this, I really prefer to do my brows afterwards because I can really, really, really focus on my skin instead of having to go around my brows. So now we're looking very casket ready. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm just going to apply that all over and bring some life back to my skin, blend everything together, etc, etc. I want to look really bronzy, so I'm going in with my Fenta Mocha Mommy and I'm just going to like messily bronze my face. And of course, I'm contouring my nose, but I'm using Coco Naughty instead. This pimple is just like, hello. This look is about to be so simple and so cute. So, I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to put that. Where am I going to put it, Tasha? I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct. So, I'm taking my glitter primer and I'm just applying that all in the tear duct and I'm kind of bringing it up a little bit. And before I grab this palette, I want you guys to comment below what palette I'm about to use because I feel like I'm so predictable. <laughs> but, ah, James Charles palette because it has so many bright colors. But when I'm finna do. No, nobody uses these little thingies, right? So I'm going to go in with this bright orange. And I'm literally just going to press that on top of there. So like if you have a loose pigment, this will be a lot better. But baby girl, I'm working with what I got. So I'm just pressing that color on there and then I'm going to blend it out and diffuse it. I feel like the summer has been all about like neon colors, pops of colors, like effortless looks. So that's why I'm just kind of popping this on and we're going to keep it pushing. So now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of sweeping that up. It is a little patchy, but again, it is just your inner corner. So it's not that big of a deal. And I'm going to add some bottom mascara towards the end, like after I spray my face and stuff. But that's the look, y'all. So I'm just going to spray my face with my NYX Bear With Me spray just to break down these powders because we do have a matte foundation. on. You just want to kind of spray it so that it melts into your skin. And I'm just going to be doing some gloss. I'm going to lightly um, line my lips because I don't want my lips to be too lined I just want to like define them because as you guys can see my lips have no shape so there's that <laughs> and I'm going in with my morphe gloss in the shade boho
And what is a hot girl look with no fancy gloss? So I'm gonna be going in with diamond milk, just in the center of that, just to give me that nice milky look. And I almost forgot highlighter. So I'm going in with Wisp by ColourPop and I'm applying that to my nose. I've noticed that I really prefer to, to like highlight my nose with my finger. Now I'm gonna take ColourPop's Boomin. This is like the collab with Shayla and ColourPop. And I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks. Ooh, try not to highlight your pimple, y'all. Girls, we have to set our face. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm just gonna... All right guys, so that completes today's look. I did decide to go back in and wet the hair just so that it looked more, you know, defined and had more of like a summery look to it. And I am feeling it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Enjoy your hot girl summer, slay on them. Let them know you a hot girl. Don't forget to check out Chambray Hair and get you some, okay? Cause you see these curls? Like hello. So again, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'm out.